Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Are you ready? So, let's go. Question one. One times nine equals what? So, the answer is, one times nine is nine. To calculate, we have one groups, with nine balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? Nine balls. Question two, two times eight equals what? So the answer is, two times eight is 16. To calculate, we have two groups with eight balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 16 balls. Question three, two times six equals what? So the answer is, 2 times 6 is 12. To calculate, we have two groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 4. 5 times 9 equals what? So the answer is, 5 times 9 is 45. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 45 balls. Question 5. 8 times 9 equals what? So the answer is, 8 times 9 is 72. To calculate, we have 8 groups, with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 6. 9 times 4 equals what? So the answer is, 9 times 4 is 36. To calculate, we have 9 groups, with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question 7. 2 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is, 2 times 4 is 8. To calculate, we have two groups with four balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? Eight balls. Question 8. 7 times 2 equals what? So, 
the answer is 7 times 2 is 14. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 14 balls. Question 9. 8 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 5 is 40. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 10. 3 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 5 is 15. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 15 balls. Question 11. 4 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 4 times 5 is 20. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 12. 7 times 9 equals what? So the answer is 7 times 9 is 63. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 13. 5 times 7 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 7 is 35. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? At 35 balls? Question 14. 2 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 2 times 9 is 18. To calculate, we have 2 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 15. 3 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 3 is 9. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 9 balls. Question 16. 
Four times eight equals what? So the answer is four times eight is 32. To calculate, we have four groups with eight balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 32 balls. Question 17, three times six equals what? So, the answer is, 3 times 6 is 18. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? Uh, 18 balls. Question 18. 9 times 7 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 7 is 63. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Trois 63 balls. Question 19. 2 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is, 2 times 5 is 10. To calculate, we have two groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 10 balls. Question 20. 7 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is, 7 times 4 is 28. To calculate, we have 7 groups, with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 28 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome! Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.